he lives in you. I have always loved that scene from The Lion King. Rafiki is reminding Simba of his father Mufasa's spirit and presence that is always in him. As he looks at the water, he sees his reflection. Rafiki tells him to look harder because even though he doesn't see his father when he looks at himself, when he takes a second look, he sees a reflection of his father and Rafiki reminds him that the spirit of Mufasa is living in Simba. And so as I was looking at that scene, at that movie, even this week, I was reminded of the Holy Spirit. If you are a Christian, if you are walking with the Lord, do you know that the Holy Spirit lives in you? Paul reminds us of that in Romans chapter 8, verse 11. The Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead, the Holy Spirit that rose Jesus from the grave lives within you. It has quickened your mortal bodies. This flesh, he has quickened it. That spirit that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you. And it was a promise from Jesus that he would send that Holy Spirit to be our counselor, to always remind us of Jesus's words. He is not just our counselor, but he is our comforter. In our greatest pain, in our greatest sorrow, he is there. And he's not just our comforter, He's not just our counselor, but he is always constant. When you need help, he is there. When you need strength, he is there. When you need a word of encouragement, when you need a reminder that Jesus is in control, the Holy Spirit is there to remind you. I am so thankful that he lives in us and when life feels impossible remember that you are never alone because he lives within you